Saludos familia, Angel Anderson here. We are live and I'm going to double check before we get started real quick. I'm going to double check that the, to, that the stream is published on the Facebook page before I start rambling and we've realized on the road that we had technical difficulties. So let's double check this real quick. And it's live, yes, and that's the only thing I want. Let me double check the, the audio on the Facebook page. Boom, audio is nice. Okay, so how are you today, my friend? How are you? We're gonna have Cody. We're gonna jo we're gonna join Cody in a second to the line, and uh, let's uh, let's bring Cody. By the way, let's bring Cody. How are you, Cody? I'm doing good. How you doing? Hey, my man. I'm happy, extremely happy, that we're spending a second day in a row together. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, uh, uh -huh. so you are here in the because you are a fitness professional. And I'm going to, you know, we're going to have a conversation. This is not a scripted. The reason you're here is because you are a fitness professional. And the reason I'm here is because I've recorded videos, on sales and marketing videos for fitness professionals. So Cody is going to be talking about uh, his experiences, his marketing knowledge on the fitness industry. And by the way, you know, Cody has a, an amazing uh, program coming up after the stream. Please go check out his page. I'm going to link the, all his information in the comment area. That way you can go and give him some love. So, you know, I appreciate, appreciate you, Cody, being on the, on, the, on the live stream. And, of course, um, you know, the live streams, if you're watching live, leave your question. If you're watching the replay, just type an R just so we and I, uh, Cody and I know that you watch the replay and then we can answer any question that you might have. So, Cody, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Long day yesterday with you. Got to see your face again, but I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was a good day. I uh, had a good morning. Everything is, is going well. So I appreciate you asking how you doing today, sir. BC, I'm very happy. You know, the, uh, things are working out the way they're supposed to. But here's the key. You and I take steps every single day in order for to make things happen. So... Let's let's start with let's start. Let, I'm gonna start with you, Cody. Let's start yes, with uh, what do you see is the problem in the fitness when it comes to sales and marketing in the fitness industry? Well, there's several things when it comes to uh, sales with personal training and gym memberships. Most of the of the employees are not qualified and are not getting trained properly. Most people are not going through the basics. They don't understand how to communicate with others by asking open-ended questions and focusing more on the customer, not themselves. Unfortunately, in fitness, most people rely on their physique and they rely on their charm when we all know that that wears off very quickly. You, you must know what the customer's needs are, their desires are, and you must authentically, genuinely care. Because once you care, then you have them because... The truth is always told, and people can honestly feel that when they talk to you from the beginning and the end. That's an, that's an amazing insight, and, and only can come from an expert in the industry like yourself. So here's the deal. Um, <coughs> you know what, by the way, before, you know, because I know you're going to share some, <coughs> some knowledge bombs. Let me share. I'm going to drop some jewels. I'm going to drop some nuggets on them. Let me share this, uh, <laughs> this, this live stream real quick before we get going. And I'm go after I share this li live stream, and please, Cody, share it as well so other people can see it. Uh, Absolutely. So, so let me let me do take a second to share this. Uh, come and join us live, and uh, we will and uh, and Cody and <coughs> I will answer your questions, your marketing, your sales and mar marketing questions. So let me let me just do share now, boom, and that should be that should be good. So I'm gonna share this. So here here's what I am going to say that I've seen that is the biggest problem uh, when it comes to fitness, um, fitness in the fitness gyms, fitness professionals. So here's the what I what I seen. First of all, no marketing plan. And it's like going, it's like leaving Florida on the way to California with no GPS and with no plan. It's like planning a trip, like planning a roadmap. Second, they have an idea of who 
they want to help, but they, the idea is not clear. They haven't defined, and they are when they create content, meaning posts, social media posts, videos, they're creating the content for everybody, and they're not talking to somebody in a specific. And third, they're doing what other gyms are doing. They're, they're pulling the phone, recording a video without proper planning. They, they didn't record. They're brainstorming the video on the, the, the video title on the spot. They're brainstorming other things on the spot. And, and, and they're providing value content, but they're not providing value content that is helpful for their customers and their business, just for the business. It's something that you have to keep in mind. And, uh, and, and we can go on, but that's a, what, what would you say? What, do you agree, you disagree with this assessment, Cody? I, I, I fully agree. And I've been in the fitness industry, uh, the health and wellness industry, for over 16 years. I've been um, a nutritional consultant at an anti-aging clinic. I've owned my own gym, Anytime Fitness, and I've trained um, hundreds of trainers. And most gyms, as you just stated, not even just don't have a marketing plan, never even thought about having a marketing plan and never even put a thought into it because they're so focused on saving money that they're actually, they're, they're hindering their business because they think they can do it all. And we were speaking about this the other day by delegating, hire somebody that knows what they need to do. And you have to be very niche when it comes to fitness. Unfortunately, People don't want to work out. I can literally give people $10 training. They don't want to come. You need to find somebody that extremely obese that the doctor says you need to, you need to do this or you're going to die. Or a woman that's getting married that wants these beautiful pictures. You have to be so in particular in detail because as a fitness professional, you want to make, uh, I call myself, uh, I heal people through the art of stretching. So I don't just stretch your body, I stretch your mind. I do this with trainers, with clients, with gyms, and they don't understand what they don't understand. And what you don't know, what you don't know, you'll never know until you have a professional like you and I that can enlighten them. Create a group of like-minded people that are looking to get results. Weight loss is the number one, um, I would say, uh, obesity is the number one ep epidemic in the United States. Unfortunately, um, food uh, that is healthy for you is is quite expensive, and then people tend to spend money on their children and not themselves. But when you are a father, when you are a, a a mother, the best thing you could do for your son, the best thing you can do for your family is be healthy, because that is going to make you a better dad. That's going to make this is the this is the talk that I have with people. I'm so enthusiastic, and I'm not yelling, I'm screaming. I, I say this with conviction because of my mother and because of the care that I have for her and her well-being. If you don't have this lingo, if you don't talk like this about what you do, you're never going to make the sale. The sale is already done before I, they walk in the door because I know I'm a 9 out of 10 because this is what I do. And you say the same thing with your with your video, video marketing. It's not It's not the fact that that I'm trying to sell you. It's the fact of what, pa what package would you like to take from me? Do you want the full package? Would you like me to change your whole gym? Do you want a half package? You want to spend a little bit of money and me change a little bit? Or would you like to be open-minded and have a results-driven program that's effective that I've done in 20 gyms and put 10,000 members in all from being very detailed, marketing and advertising, videographer, and spending quality money on, on RIO. And that's the thing is you have to have a return on investment. Let, and most people don't know this language, buddy. It's true. It's true. I get hyped up. I yeah, no, no, no. And, and, I, and I appreciate, <laughs> appreciate you, your, your passion on, on this subject. Uh, you briefly mentioned you did it in across different gyms. Can you share, you know, results? Give me some examples yes. of results. Okay. So I did. I uh, I worked with a, a company called FitSmart. I was a fitness consultant. They hired me to go in there and um, help the gym create a, a program and put uh, members in the gym. So what we did was we strategically uh, marketed weight loss, and we put a picture of a uh, a group of women that were out of shape 
that we're looking like the people that are watching, right? If you see a person that's really in shape and they say, oh, come to this weight loss challenge, right away you feel judged. So you target a group of like-minded people. They come, they came in and I presented the program. There would be, they would come in at different times. And then I would talk to them about the program. The first thing I did was I literally created a judgment-free environment and I had a group of women who even had some of their husbands who were together and did this journey together. I put 585 people in three weeks in South Carolina. They said, I can't take any more people. I put 350 in San Antonio, 280 in Dallas to the point where they're like, how did you do it? I said, first of all, you hired us as the marketing team. Our strategy was great. The videography was great, but I'm a closer. If you know who Mariano Rivera is from the from the Yankees, bring in the closer, man. It's a person <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. When you're so confident and you care about someone's health and well-being, you create this synergistic environment. You must hire somebody that has higher levels of you. The people that make it in business hire people that can do something better than them. Delegate it. For instance, you do you're doing videography of the gym then strategically you're marketing weight loss. Then I go in there and train the staff on how to do the program. This is a systematic format where I put 10,000 members in in 20 gyms in less than a year. So, you know, I'm sure that that effort, that chat, that everything you did, it, it just didn't happen because you said it happened. You face a few roadblocks and challenges. I'm correct or I'm, or I'm missing? Oh, I mean... Uh, I was the typical look at my abs. I can do this myself. Um, did not did not put any money into my own self because every all the money that I make now I invest in myself. With whether it's videos, whether it's books, whether it's learning more and discovering who I am. See, when you have an ego, your ego is going to it, it, it's 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 going to put you at this level of. It's not confidence, it's cockiness, and people can see it. And it's it really is about failing. And as a gym owner and trainers, I'm telling you, I've been there, I've done that. Um, I failed so many times because my I had earmuffed on. I wouldn't listen. I was so closed-minded to the fact of, hey, why don't we just do some ads? You know, why don't we think outside the box and let's do a let's do a weekly challenge? You know, th these things are very, very Instead of instead of hey, let's put a member of the month on the on the Facebook page. Let's highlight them. Let's do a video with them. Let's get the community involved. Let's get in the chamber of commerce. People don't want to do the little things. I'm sorry because they think things are given to them. I've worked 17 years and I failed so many times. But guess what? I grow. I've grown from it, and it's made me a person who's receptive to others. And willing to learn, but also made me an effective coach. And being a coach, I, I, I'm really able to, to, to detail and describe exactly how, how every angle of the business should be put together. I'm a stretching specialist. I that's what that's my niche. I know that stretching can help with weight loss. Stretching can help with cognitive functions. See, that's very in, intentional. Cody, if you just what's up? No, no. I By the way, I like your background. Thank you. It, it, looks, <laughs> it looks good on the camera. It's pretty But dope. I think all of us go through that superhero syndrome that we don't need help, that we can do everything that we know was best. Just like, just like uh, when we were, you know, when we were kids, uh, our mothers, family, friends told us, hey, you should not do the X, Y, Z, but we knew better. That's why I think it's funny when people say, I wish I knew... Uh, back then, what I know now, you probably had that information. You just sh chose not to listen. But let me get, be more specific. What is one challenge, one roadblock that you faced when you were trying to promote uh, this, this type of event, whether it was the weekly challenge or the weight loss challenge? What was the, some of the roadblocks? Well, it started off, it starts off when it comes from um, where you are. If you, if you don't have support, from the actual gym and it's not synergistic then it's not going to work and i used to take it upon my own hands as an independent contractor and try to do this 
for for you know the gym. So that was a roadblock. Not having um, an actual intention, and like uh, you're talking about for social media, when you know that that it should be not about a like, but it should be about a uh, the, a value. Body. Where it's gonna bring, you need to bring some value. Where you know, so why, you know, wh what's the reason? Not just a picture, but hey, come to the gym for what reason? You know, if we're it, and and it just it says it. I mean, I have I read this every day. Dale Carnegie book. It says right here. It says throw down a challenge. Throw down a challenge. Ten, ten week weight loss challenge. Twenty one day push up challenge. And put it post the members. You know, make them feel good. They said it takes seven touches. Let's write this down, everybody. It takes seven touches before somebody recognizes you. Shake their hand, pat them on their shoulder, say their name, talk to them seven times before they even know who Coach Cody is. Call somebody by their first name. But most of all, the biggest issues is 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 your own. That was mine. The biggest issue was my 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 own issue of thinking I know it all. I, I can do this. No, it, hire a team that can do specific, detailed, um, but planning a marketing strategy is, is, is basically, you know, if you don't have an actual game plan, a roadmap for success, then you're just, you're, you're literally, like you said, uh, let me just write something up and then it goes back to time management. So now you're, you're spending hours doing something that's, that's producing nothing. So now you lost a day. And then adds up, that adds up. That could get that could add up to maybe I don't know forty five days a, a year that you lost on literally time management. Simple things. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, Cody. What what you think is? Uh, give me some predictions when it comes to yep. sales and marketing for the fitness industry for next year. Uh, this year is almost two and end. Next year, what is uh, something that you see more? Like for example, in my case, I see I see that. Uh, they need to so first of all they need to stop just pulling the phone and just hitting record that without thinking uh, the second they need to create more content in my, behind the scenes so show what show what you do don't tell people what you do that's uh that's the the way i see it you need to show more people whether it's you know how you train people um you know uh, your your equipment your framework whatever it is that you want to show people instead of telling people the second thing that i see is that uh con video they're gonna start they're gonna need more video than anything else but something that it went back with the growth of facebook and the social medias i uh, i still say that fitness gyms gyms fitness professional they need to go back and look at their website and use their website more than what they more more than just a virtual business card what do you see that, what do you think are the pr predictions for uh you know fitness industry i have a few predictions and i have a few things that that i've innovated myself that i think that i think will speak into existence one is if your gym is not 24 hours then you're you're going to lose Um, every gym needs to be 24 hours. Um, that's why Anytime Fitness does well. When I traveled all around different, you know, places, that was that was really really enticing. Um, more applications where you're competitive. Um, I had this uh, these ideas of having a bar scan where you scan the machine and then you're going against somebody else virtually. Um, People in the fitness world love to see themselves doing exercises. On 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 a, a person that actually will get hired as a staff member of a gym that literally is there to shoot videos for members as a part of an upgraded uh, an upgraded uh, membership. So, say you're paying forty nine ninety nine for the membership, paying ninety nine dollars, you get four, uh, one video a week, and they have a person on there. They get to use that for social media. If you're if you're not doing these things, uh, virtual reality, all of these things, the engagement, and then having people that that are involved, I see that as more the you know the tech stuff, and definitely I see videographers and photographers being actually as a staff member 
in when starting a business, when I start Better Body, Better Life, um, when I have my cafe, Better Life University, here's all my jewels, I'm telling you, the Cairo, I'm going to have somebody that's there that literally, when you come in, you're not, you're not going to get a scan card. You're, I'm literally going, we're going to have you sit down with a professional like yourself and we're going to do a small video that you have as your, as your card. And it's going to say, hey, my name is, you know, Angel and, you know, I'm a, I'm a marketing and videographer professional. And then you get to share that in the community where now you have a gym with the social media page and not everybody gets to work together. So that is the synergy that has to come with gyms and then offering more um, uh, training for groups. So uh, a lot of group training. Everything should be group. If you, I, I, you know, I came up with this with analogy. So if you have a person that, you know, they can't, they can't um, afford a hundred bucks an hour, but five people can afford 20 bucks. That's a hundred bucks an hour. So it, it would be foolish not to do that. And it would be foolish for, for the gyms not to offer personal training at, at a, at a level of specific niche. Don't just have somebody that does, hey, this guy does weight loss, this guy does football, this guy does this. Every gym should be, and you, you need to be trained properly. You know, everybody needs to be trained, and I feel the 24-hour, and I feel a lot of the virtual, and the engagement with actual social media pages in the gyms. That, that to me, is, is where, it, it's, where it is, because now you, ha you have a community. You know, hey, it's, you know, and, it, and it, you feel special. You feel wanted. Everybody wants to feel good. Better body, better life. Looking good and feeling good from the inside out. Give me a damn hug. I love you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the feeling I want to get, you know, that, and that's the feeling that people want to get. Make people feel good about themselves. <laughs> I love, I love when you say that. Let's take it way back. You know, how you got here? What is your story? How, you know, tell me, tell me. I want to know and, and share with the, uh, yeah. anybody that will watch the, the replay as well. Uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll break it down for you. So I was an athlete growing up. I moved uh, from New York to, to Florida and um, I had quite the uh, character building uh, years in my, my, my early teens. Uh, my, my, my parents didn't get along. They were divorced. So that led me to be distraught. And um, from there, I ended up getting into a car accident and uh, I faced 10 years in prison. The kid came out of a coma. Um, while he was in a coma for three weeks, I thought I was going to jail for 10 years. I ended up facing three years in prison. Um, and thank God that um, I had the choice to, uh, to become a felon even though I thought that was a better choice, and maybe now it's not. But at, at 20 years old, three, uh, two and a half months before my 21st birthday, I was a convicted felon. I blew a .04, only had two drinks, but I was under 21. From there, um, I became a hustler. I was, uh, you know, I danced the Chippendales, I toured all around the country. Uh, my ego and my head just blew up, and I didn't realize you don't see yourself you know, you can't see yourself um, until, you know, one day, you know, it, it just hits you and, and, and you, you get to that point. You're like, you know, I'm lonely. I'm hurt. And, uh, you know, I, you know, I didn't really understand why, why I was feeling this way, because I literally neglected, you know, my faith, my family. But most of all, I, I neglected loving myself. And it's hard to love yourself when you can't see yourself on the other other side. And, uh, you know, I almost died from dehydration. Um, uh, my brother, um, you know, di didn't want me around his daughter. And when I, when I heard that, that's when I broke down and, uh, I went to my mother and I wanted to talk to my family and, you know, I had, uh, had some drugs and I gave it to them, flushed it down the toilet, had a couple thousand dollars, gave it to my mom. And she said, give it to the pastor, I gave it to my pastor. And from there I went all in. And uh, I started working with Les Brown, who's been a mentor to me, uh, owned a bunch of, uh, you know, fitness uh, brands. And now I'm building my, my own brand, CodyManix.com. And I can truly honestly say that, you know, fitness changed my life um, when it comes to the health aspect. I've changed uh, from being a bodybuilder to uh, really honestly, and I truly believe this, if you stretch and you do yoga 
and you've worked out and exercised your whole life, I guarantee you I could change every single ailment that you have from migraines to lower back pain to tummy issues, everything from the art of stretching, bodyweight exercises, and proper nutrition. But it all starts with the mind. You got to unlock the mind before you unlock the body. Those things will literally change your life. And you can only know this and you can only, you know, when you have been through something so, so, so tragic in, in your life. And, you know, I truly say I'm blessed and highly favored. And this is the beginning. And now instead of doing things for myself, I do things for others. And that's what gives me true significance. Because if you're having a bad day and, and, and you really think, you know, I, I'll give you the best advice. Go help somebody. Call somebody, cheer them up, and that is what it lifts me up. Every time I'm feeling down and dumps, you just start helping people, man. And then that is what that's what brings you to the universe and aligns you. And you know, that's when I taught to honor my body and respect my my others, my elders. But most of all, I gotta respect yourself. And uh, that that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, big dog. You are sticking to it. I love it. I love it. Look, um, so let's let's talk about it a little bit about the framework. Uh, what I, what framework you use and what framework I use. I'm, I'm going to start. As, a, as a, a videographer, I need to create videos. So typically, they, my clients either don't know what videos they want to create or they do know what videos they want to create. And, and typically goes, you know, uh, sales or marketing videos. Uh, now, before I create any video, I have to have an understanding. Uh, well, I don't have to. So that's what I am not a, your typical videographer. As a marketing guy, as a video marketing strategy, not as a videographer, I need to know who you, do you want to help. So the first step of my framework is always trying to find out who are you talking to, who, you, who can benefit immediately from this content. Uh, second is, do you uh, have a list of all this, this person's pains or challenges that you can? And if you don't have it, I always suggest not to go and just Google uh, you know, what is uh, fitness professional challenges are or anything like that. Now, that, that's, that's, always, that's what other people do. Now, if, you're do, if you do that, you are like 20% on, on, you know, on the way, on the right way. But the actual step is to ask, ask that person, you know, what is your challenge? What is this? Some people, because these questions have been asked so much uh, in this year, at this time of what we're living not everybody will answer them right away just like they did a couple of years ago. But you have to be persistent. You got to keep asking. I really want to share uh, content, videos, pictures, or anything that will help you. So for me, in order for me to know, I need to know what, you know, what will help you the most. Third, if you don't know where your ideal client is, you need to find out where that person is online. We can talk about offline later, but online, whether it's fake, don't never assume that it's Facebook, LinkedIn, because it's for professionals or Twitter. No, where that person hangs out. And if you don't know where that person hangs out, then you need to ask that person or you need to do some stalking, some social media stalking, some marketing stalking, and find out where that person hangs out. And I'm talking, I'm not talking just about the big social media account, I'm not talking just Facebook. Twitter, LinkedIn, or Instagram. I'm talking about what are the websites that they read. If, if the, your ideal client, the next person you want to hire, it, it reads from Medium, uh, uh, period. That's where you want to, you know, publish your content. Uh, and lastly, how you going? To, how can you distribute? How you can you make sure that the person that you intended to help is receiving the video that you created? Well, and, and the most obvious answer is one-on-one, -on -one, on scalable actions sending the video to that person and that's my framework uh you know we can deep we're gonna dip a little bit deeper into the framework later on but what is your framework code if you have one do you have a framework yeah i have i have three different types of services so i do one-on-one -on -one, uh training and that is that is just a small uh, fraction of what i do and i intentionally did that specifically for several reasons, I was on the road traveling, traveling, and I did this to show people that I'm automatic, and I always say that automatic manics. So I literally, what what did I do? I took on four clients, and guess what I did? I posted four testimonials. They all ripped up. I I know what I'm doing now. I get calls left and right. Testimonials are huge. Show people what you can do. I enjoy doing one on one, but I like to teach more. 
So I'll do one-on-one -on -one clients because um, I, that's what I know and, it, and, and I enjoy it, especially if somebody I know is really dedicated. The second, the second one is uh, gyms, consulting gyms. And it's gyms that are struggling to find an identity, either if their memberships are low or they don't have a training program. So with that is uh, I do an assessment and find out, you know, what, what their strategy is, what they're open minded to. Are they willing to do, um, you know, certain things? What restrictions, you know, do you have? So failing gyms, uh, I put a I'll put a uh, basically either a challenge together, which is that to me is the best. It's coming around in January and then I'll do a whole uh, lead campaign, lead generation, and then I'll get, you know, a couple hundred uh, members in your gym. Then also training trainers and coaches. So I train trainers and coaches and teach them the art of communication. That's literally what I do. I teach what, exactly what I know and how to effectively communicate with others. By, by, by that, you're able to, to get a, uh, to, to, to close uh, sales. You're able to have better relationships and you're literally going to have a better life. So I give an assessment. I'll, uh, you know, I have my, my website, CodyManix.com. It's definitely been, you know, uh, that time to, to do it because everywhere I go, I've gone, everybody wants to know what are the workouts? What is this? So now I'm at a point where I've, I've done all the due diligence, done the work. Now I can have a, a program, a software, a well-run machine where they're able to get workouts of the week or they're able to get a weight loss program. They're able to get this. But I'm very intentional with 35 to 55-year-old women. That's my demographic. Why? It is what it is. That's who follows me. That's who likes me. Um, could be my because I got a nice booty. Who knows? Either way, that's what I do. I also have a demographic of 25 to 35-year-old men, and most of them are looking for uh, – uh, bodybuilding. So it's very intentional, you know, it, and, and again, like you said, having a, a marketing plan and a marketing strategy, as long as they're, as long as they're willing to, to, to let you do your thing, then, then it's a home run because it's, you know, it's a system. So failing gyms, uh, just, uh, give them the option if, if they would like to do a, you know, a challenge or if they just want to get, uh, get lead generations or if they want me to train their staff, and then weight loss and flexibility, range of motion. Let me ask you a uh, myth around fitness. I know there are always myths around online marketing and online sales, but what about fitness? As a fitness professional, are there any myths uh, about sales or marketing in the fitness industry? What do you mean? Myth. Like, um, like people believe, people think that, you know, XYZ is true, but it's not true. Well, you know, what, what, what are some uh, misconceptions, some myth? Here's, here's the, the God's honest truth. And I'm, I'm so, uh, you know, I'm bold with what I say. Everything I do is what I've done. Don't believe everything love you it. read. Love it. Love I, it. It's, it's my philosophy. S3, get cubed. Stamina, strength, and stretching, that's my program. I created it. I did it. Unlock your mind, unlock your guts, unlock your breath, unlock your joints. That is mine. I've done it with hundreds of clients. Not just because I Googled it. I don't even read any other. Here's a good thing I like to tell people is don't read any other person in your field. Be yourself. That I, Literally, I don't really care what he's doing. I give him a lot of props. I give him great. But you know what? I'm a creator. I'm an innovator. I play with the TRX until I understand what muscle it works. And then I hit each angle and then I'll do a diet and I'll look at it and then calorie this and that. And then I'll use it on other clients. And I have data from all of that. So when somebody is too perfect with their literature, don't believe them because that's not coming out of their mouth. That's just, that's not their philosophy. So I, I either go for somebody who is a medical professional that can tell you more about, um, you know, physique, you know, all, you know, something like very intellectual. But when it comes to somebody with their physique, what are you doing? You tell me what you're doing and how you've affected other clients. Not a um, I'm going to do with this set, this set and this set. And then it's very it, you can tell it's it's copied. 
It's 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 copied, and that copy and paste shit is so whack. And I will call <laughs> your ass out. It's so stupid. You don't need that much protein. I'm a pescatarian. I do cardio. I've been running and exercising for 17 years. Go with somebody who's been doing it for a long time, and that looks the part. If a person is out of shape, why would you hire them? If a person, you know, you got to you got to think like this is common sense, but not common practice. And I said, you know, not to be mean, but I'm like, you know, hey, you know, now a person going through a weight loss journey and showing their journey, that right there is the most powerful um, story. And actually, to tell you the truth, I'm doing this journey with uh, Natalie Jones. She's 300. She was 398 pounds. She's down to 344. And I talked to her yesterday. And I said, God, I, I'm going to do this. I'm taking you on next year. We're going to document this whole program. And you want to be a trainer? I'm going to show you every nugget and jewel that I have. And me and her are going to do a weight loss challenge. And I challenge any gym that wants to literally... If, if you're struggling for memberships and January's coming up, I'm going to tell you right now, I will put five, 600 members in the gym with me and Natalie doing the S3 strength, stamina, and stretch program. I've done it uh, at least 30 times. I'm doing it back. I'm home. I'm not traveling. We're going to do this and we're going to change people's life because she's motivated. And ever since I did that Les Brown experience, she volunteered. She said the next day, I'm going to do a 90 day challenge. I've been watching her. Every single day, 344 pounds. What's your excuse, everybody? Nobody would help her. I saw her. She did 90 days. I said, Natalie, come over. Let's talk. I said, I'm going to make you a superstar. You want to know why? Because you got to be hungry. Hey, yes. I'm telling you. And people are not hungry. I mean, I wake up like this, like Beyonce said. So I got to be around other people that want this. You got to want it so bad. It's because when you're it's an entrepreneur, when you want to lose weight, when you want to do something that people doubt you, man, you got to get so motivated, so pumped up that you're ready to explode. If not, you're going to lose, man. It's because it's contagious. It's, it is contagious. So, Cody, uh, let's, 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 break, up, let, let's break down the framework. Let's break down the framework. Okay. I'm going to start with mine and yep. then so I'll give you a, a, a chance to take a deep breath uh, and then... Then I want you to share one of yours uh, or more. Um, but if you could think about the the weight loss challenge framework, what 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 would it take to run that one? So I'm gonna start with mine. So again, as a video videographer, what you and I, what I'm told, what any other videographer is told is, go ahead. I need a video to record, and you tell the videographer what video they uh, they need to record. They produce the video and they give it to you, and it's up to you to figure out what to do with the video. But as a marketing video marketing strategy, not only I help you pick the right video, I help I tell you what video will work for that, set and and what to do with the video after you record it and upload it. So my I'm gonna how I start my framework is always always the first step is to find out what do you want. Now, every, you know, we can assume, and I was naive like that a couple years ago, I assumed that everybody wanted more sales. But I have come across, and what that might make sense, at the end of the day, we all want more sales. But what I realized is with time that uh, businesses are in different stages, even if they're the same. And some businesses want engagement, other ones to increase uh, reach, and other ones strictly improve their sales. So the first thing to find out, I need to find out as a marketing guy, as a video marketing strategist, is what is your goal? Because by, based on your goal and based on who you want to help and their challenges, I can help you pick the right video that will help you achieve that specific goal. So if it's sales, we, then we just concentrate on a sales video. If it's... Uh, uh, and making more offers, but if it's more engagement and reaching new people, we can concentrate on other things. So first of all, is, is knowing the first step, what is your business goal? Second step is who can you benefit, who can benefit immediately from what you are about to share? Once you identify that person or your ideal client or your marketing persona, whoever that person is, then you what you want to do is obviously document that, you know, I want to help Angel Anderson. He's uh, 41 years of age. 
Uh, he's married, got two kids. And the more you know about that person, the more you can communicate. And it's, it can be just superficial. It can be he reads uh, medium, he reads hops, whatever he reads. Because when you're communicating with that person, you know what to say in the video. Hey, if you're talking to me, you know, whether you are busy because you have to take care of your kids or you have spent time with your family and now the narrative is in line with my life and the more you know about that person, the more you can talk and be in line with what is already existing in their mind. The third step is to make a list of all my challenges or your ideal client, customer, pers marketing persona challenges. What are the challenges? What are their pain? What are they are trying to achieve in life and in business? And while there are two separate categories, they are not mutually exclusive. They can, you know, they can inter interchange and do, achieving something in business can also help in the personal life. So what are all the challenges? And please, 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 please don't just Google what are the challenges in XYZ industry or for an accountant or for a web designer or for an entrepreneur. Ask the person that you're trying to help, why did you want to hire me? That's one question, and they're telling you exactly because I have XYZ challenge or XYZ problem. After you make a list of all the challenges, then what you want to identify is how you, as a business owner, can make sure that the video we just created reach the, this person. Are you going to send it directly through Facebook message? Are you going to send it to that person in email? Now, if you and I are not worried about views and likes, then you want to send that video to that person on, on the one-on-one, -on, -one, on the on scalable. And then what you do with that video, what, once you created a video for that ideal persona, and once you upload it, and once you share that video to that person, what can you do next? Well, guess what? That video better go on your website. That video better be shared on all your social media accounts. That video, that video be, better be added to your email follow-up sequence. Send it to a chatbot uh, broadcast to all your subscribers on Facebook. Send it to uh, text messages if you're using text messages. Transcribe the video, create it into a LinkedIn article, create it into the Medium article if that's the channels that you want to reach. Repost it again after a couple hours on Twitter. Repost it again on Facebook after a, a day. And you can keep, keep going to the list after you make sure that that video reached your ideal client. Because if I am your ideal client, there are more people with similar situations and similar worries and similar challenges that you can help everybody else by sharing the video in multiple places after you help me. After that, um, it's, it's easy, you know, um, Basically, I'm going to recap. Identify the business goal. Identify who can benefit immediately. Identify the, the challenges. Once you have the challenges, you identify the best video that can help this person. Then, how are you going to make sure that the video reach the ideal person? And after that, just market the shit out of it. That's a simple framework. What is the frame? What is yours, Cody? What is yours? You know, it, it goes, it starts off with the basic assessment, you know, very, very similar to what's yours, but just more on what are your habits? Um, this is for the individual. What, what, what are your habits? Uh, you know, what, what's your, what's your ideal um, desired weight? Um, same thing when I come to a, to a gym owner, what, you know, what, what are, what are your struggles? Um, what's your, you know, as your membership's been decreasing, um, what's your personal training? All of the numbers, all the analytics, you know, I, I literally just do a full assessment and, you know, I wait for them to respond. At the end of that, I say, what is your ultimate goal? Everything else, what, I, what I've done is I'm just literally getting to know the person, asking them personal, intimate questions, also getting to understand more about where they are for Financial, I mean, I'll definitely put that in there, what their budget is, um, you know, all, all of these things. But at the end, it says, what is the ultimate goal? So I circle that. Let's start with the client. Once they say their goal is, I want to lose 50 pounds, I circle that, then I work backwards. Everything I do is backwards. So if I have a client that says, I want to lose 50 pounds, 
then I'm going to come, I'm going to sit down with them and then I'm going to tell them what it's going to take to lose 50 pounds. If we, if, if, um, how much, uh, you know, what their time frame is, you know, certain things like that. And then I give them the offer and, and, and I'm very, you know, intentional with it. They want to lose 50 pounds, a pound a week. That's a year, three times, three times a week. I don't, I, I don't like to work with anybody that's not committed. Um, and that's why the online is good because you can hold people accountable with a group. And the one-on-one -on -one is a very intentional and it's, it's more emotional for me. I really want to help somebody being a fitness enthusiast and being somebody who's, who's going into motivational speaking is what I missed was I, I I've had so many testimonials, but I didn't document them. You have to document them as a professional in this type of business, what you do um, for fitness uh, coaches. This is this is a great thing for everybody. Take somebody special that's committed and, and go through the process to you know, have them talk about they can't touch their toes. Let's visit this back in two weeks. Let's visit this back in two months and see how close are they are getting there. See what kind of ailments they are talking about their their troubles and saying, man, it's month three. And I, honestly, I, I don't I can't I can't do this. And you, you go through that process. So documenting somebody and take on just a small few that you can really pay that you can pay closer attention to. That's going to uh, that's going to uh, charge them more because you don't need as many clients when, if you believe in yourself and you know, I know I'm the best trainer around. I don't feel like there's anybody better than me because I am passionate about what I do. I'd rather have five clients that are committed to, to a year, change their life, than have a bunch of clients that are just in and out. That's going to frustrate me. It's going to frustrate them. And it's not going to look good in your resume. So that's what I do when it comes to the one-on-ones. When it comes to the gym owners... Um, there's two aspects. There's putting uh, together a challenge, which to me is the most effective, and also training your personal training staff to teach them how to sell training and to come up with an actual system. If you don't have a system for a training staff and they're just going, um, you know, kind of just off, you know, a lot of people, they don't, have, they don't have a system. And if you don't have a system, then you can't follow anything. You can't follow, you know, the graph that they're, what, what's going on. So make sure everything is systematic and make sure you hold each other accountable and make sure that you work together and make sure that you have that employee that's in the right position. Yes, there should be a person that's easy on the eyes in the front that's very welcoming. Hello, how are you doing? If you put somebody grumpy and mean at the front, you're going to lose people. This is so simple. Have a good-looking staff. This is so simple. You're in a gym. And good-looking doesn't have to mean 90 pounds. Good-looking means that, you know, Abraham Lincoln said uh, that a person um, is responsible for their face at the age of 30. A person, if a person is frowning and, and is mean mugging, they're responsible for their face. If you walk into a building and you see somebody that's depressed and that's a trainer that's supposed to be enthusiastic and their face is just depressing, that's going to be cancerous. You need to eliminate this stuff. People don't understand personal development, personal growth because they're not in touch with reality. Every single staff Fortune 500 company goes through these elements. You must be able to have workshops, seminars, continuing education, and you must be engaged with your employees. Don't assume they know how to do it. Everybody assumes that their staff knows how to do it because you wrote up um, a, 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 I don't know, a week workshop that they did to do uh, for training. No, continuously work with them. Look, show them you care. Do you think a staff member... A, a, a person who's an employee would steal $100 from the register if you said hello to them every day? No. But I guarantee if you look the other way and you flick them off and they were sick and you didn't care about them, they're more likely to steal $100. Guess what? I've seen it with my own eyes. They're like, you know what? Screw you. You know, you don't want to help me at all. You walk by me every day and I don't even get a hug, a love, a, a thank you. It all comes from the hierarchy. It all comes from literally working together. So developing, um, having losing the ego and having somebody coming in there and creating these, it, it's, it's, it's just growth. 
continuing education. Hey, this week we're going to go over, this is how you should post a video on, on uh, Facebook. This is how you should greet the client. This is how you, but don't make it where it's forced. Make it where it's fun. And the only way you can make it fun if you're passionate about this stuff. It's never going to work for you. Do not do not buy a business or a gym because because you think you're going to make money. It doesn't work like that. that. That's not how it does work in life. Unless you're a multimillionaire that can just spend a million dollars on marketing, the reason things work is because you love it. And when you love something so much, it's contagious. People just want to be around you. They're like, damn, I don't know. This kid's energy is just hyped up. I don't know. It's people that just hang out in my living room just end up losing weight. People who hang out with me end up just getting abs. People hang out with me just drop that attitude. You want to know why? Because I dropped my attitude. And I started hanging out with other people that lifted me up. And get away from those environments. It's toxic. So all of this comes from building a, a, a environment that is judge-free and you're in a gym. Think about that. You need to care about people. There's people, I'm telling you, I've sat there and listened to people. And this poor girl was talking about, I don't even think that these people even know my name. How do you, how do you think you feel? You know, it's hard enough to go in there and, you don't, and, and you're overweight. It's hard to go in there and you don't know what you're doing. God forbid the person at the front desk doesn't even greet you. It starts from the front. So I truly believe, I know this, is if you're struggling and you want to make money, you want to change some lives, hire me to come in there because I have a results-driven program that starts from training the staff to, to putting in a whole new energy with a, with a weight loss program and also with community-driven programs and stuff that's effective that I've done all across the country that I've seen worked very well because they have three things that they do. And these three things are the biggest things that I can possibly tell people that this is going to work for you. Here's what it is. Who are you? What do you do? And why should I care? Who is the gym? What do you guys do here? And why should I care about the gym? Is it, it, it The boutique gyms are killing it. Orange Theory Fitness. What is it? It's, it's a heart rate monitoring system. Why should I care? Because you're going to burn 500 calories at rest if you hit, if you hit EPOC. That's, that's targeted. Who is a CrossFit gym? It's a community of like-minded people that huddle up together that people hate. They hate CrossFit people because they're, they're, they're actually like happy. But you know what? They're successful. They have a niche. They have something that's going for them, and they work together. And as you see in fitness... Once, once you arrive in the fitness world, once you understand that it's not about you, boo, it's about everybody else, and the more that you help people, the better off you're going to be. And like you always say, share your knowledge. You know, keep on sharing your knowledge and, and, and let others lead. You know, the biggest, strongest, most effective leaders are men who lead other men, who women who lead other women who can make leaders out of other leaders, who recognize greatness. Cody, what would be, if I, wanted to, if I wanted to run a weight loss challenge, where do I start? What do I need to do? Um, so the first thing you do is you have to hire me. It's a $1,500 <laughs> consultation. Okay. Okay. It's going to cost you about $5,000 $5, in Facebook ads. Okay. And then from there, I'll have a system and we work on a percentage. And it's as simple as, as me um, uh, getting with uh, my team and then getting the database from social media, creating a, a, a video um, with you. And from there, we target market um, the area and it's guaranteed. It's, it's guaranteed. Literally, if you invest in a small $10,000, you'll make $80,000. How would you like to invest $10,000 and get $80,000? That's in the minimum. And that, okay, and that's uh, how long the, the weight, weight loss challenge typically go for? Um, oh, oh, no, run, 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 run uh, length. 12 weeks. 12 weeks, 12 weeks. 12 weeks. So let me, ask you, let me ask you one more thing. So 
So we have a framework. You share a lot of insight. You you know you share even some uh, brief costs. Obviously, reach out to Cody for more uh, information to that specific uh, challenge. Uh, what what are some tips tips for success when it comes to fitness sales and marketing? Okay, the, uh, so when it comes to fitness sales and marketing, um, it be very niche. You know, be, be very, very niche with what you're doing, either you're a weight loss specialist, stretching specialist. But the biggest thing when it comes to um, selling like memberships or selling training is, is literally asking questions, getting to know what the needs are of your client. The first thing I always sit down and tell somebody, and I've trained so many trainers, and I say, what's the first thing you ask somebody right when they sit down and have the consultation? And most of them miss it. They go, oh, what's your goals? What's this? What do you do for workout? I literally say, hey, what's up? What's your name, Angel? Angel? Yeah. I'm Cody. Uh, Tell me a little bit about yourself, Angel. I tell oh, you. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so you have two kids. You're a military. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I know, you, I know you're really into videography. You know what's great, man? I love videography. It's one of my favorite things. It's one of my passions. Um, I, and, you know, I'm sure having, you know, young children, you want to be in shape for these kids. You want to feel good. So now you're getting to know them and now you're selling on, on what they really need. They need to be healthy for their child. Unless they come in specifically saying, I'm getting married. Or this, what you're doing is you're you're touching their heart, and then you're also giving them um, real insight, and you're giving them that uh, he's right. So you so get, uh, you're getting rapport at first, and connecting, and getting to know the person in depth. Everything leads to a question. Everything leads to a question. Once you get that, once you get that 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 one, like. Right when you can get in there, that's when you need to, that's when you drop your knowledge. This is when you talk about where your gastrocnemius is part of your calves, and this right there is restricting you from doing exercise. Now you're showing your expertise. Now they're like, this guy knows what the hell he's talking about. He cares about me. He knows what he's talking about. Now I'll put you through a 15, 20-minute workout, and then I stretch you, and then you literally, I don't even have to say, I just say, hand me your credit card, please. <clears throat> That simple. That simple. That simple. That simple. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Any trainer that wants to that wants to make six figures, holler at me. I train trainers. I do train train. So for me, uh, tips for success: <laughs> get clear. Uh, the, the 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 best thing I can tell you to you know, regardless of your situation, and regardless if you have a marketing plan, if you especially if you haven't revisited this information in the last 30 days, what I advise you to do is to relook who are you trying to help and get clear as get as much clarity as possible and and find out pain points, anything that you can about that person. Second, identify and make a you know so first of all identify who you want to help second make a list of their challenges third you know uh, how you can help them and four where you're going to share that information and but i made it a little bit easier for you guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to post let me post a link here to a let's call it a content marketing plan generator so i'm gonna and, go ahead cody and and i'll tell you um but, you know, the biggest thing in learning, you know, from, from definitely making the transition as somebody who, you know, trained and did, did this to somebody who's an entrepreneur is learning every day, um, coming up with systems, um, having all of these processes. It's not easy. This is a lot of hard work. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Translating that into uh, programs, processes, theories it, it, I'm, I'm at my desk 15 hours a day working on different funnels, things like that. So it's not, it, it's not as easy as, as anyone wants to think it is. So you must be around other people. And this is the biggest thing is you must learn that you're going to make mistakes, but don't continue to make the mistakes, pivot and make the smarter move by starting to implement these simple things and 
I'm, I'm one of the, the people, hey, I'm literally putting, you know, everything I have into a website using uh, Angel for, for a videography. All of these things, it's a process. You know, it's a, the expertise is there. You have it inside of you. Just like Les said, you have something special. Mm-hmm. You have greatness in you. But whatever that greatness is in you, it's got to be in you, not in someone else. And then team up with other people, people that have been doing it for longer, and get these systems and processes as Angel's talking about. He sends me lead generation. Um, they're, they're different uh, forms. I use these. I, I take it, you know, and I smile. I'm like, you know, I'm so appreciated uh, of people that are helping me. But it's because the fact that I help others and that didn't happen to me before, you know. Uh, it, it, you know, you can have a hand up or a hand out. See, a hand, a hand, a hand up is good. A hand out is not good. It's not encouraging. It's actually slowing down the process. And that's the truth. You know, help others, and they'll help you. But you know, definitely have a system. Cody, we're you know, I appreciate your time. I don't want to keep taking. Yeah, We've been here for just. Over an hour, an hour and one really? minute. Yes, uh, when you have a good conversation, time flies. But I don't want to take a lot more of your time. So just could, can you share where people can find more about you and reach out to you so if they wanted any fitness or uh, any fitness advice or help? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So you can you can uh, contact me on my Facebook page. It's Cody Mannix, C-O-D-Y-M-A-N-N-I-X. And finally... My website, CodyManix.com, will be coming to a theater near you. Next month, I'll be having all the bells and whistles, but also email me. That's the best way. Um, and email me. It's Cody, C-O-D-Y, and three Bs, B-B-B-L-19 at gmail.com. Cody, better body, better life, 19 at gmail.com. You can message me on, on Messenger. If you send me some weird something weird, I probably won't respond. So be professional as always, and uh, you know, be consistent. You know, be consistent and be persistent. I'm always willing to help, and you never know who you're going to meet. I'm always, I'm always looking to be uh, synergistic with all the eagles. And to me, you can find me in all social media. My handle is Angel F Anderson all together. My company is Marketing Results. You can find it on Facebook and the website is S dot Marketing. That's right, not .com, s.marketing. Cody, I appreciate your time, my friend. After the call ends, I'm going to give you a call just to, you know, go over, you know, make sh- just to recap what we just talked. Um, I appreciate. Thank, Thank you. you man. And uh, you, if you're watching the replay, please don't forget to not only type R in the comments so we know that you watch the replay, but to just go ahead and say hi to Cody for his amazing time and uh, sharing the knowledge, his knowledge, here with us today i appreciate you guys watching yeah thank you guys so much for following and hopefully that you know we answer some questions and i'm always open-minded to learn new things and you know we can all work together and uh, make the universe a better place man better body better say that again better body better life looking good and feeling good from the inside out 2019 it's gonna be a dream yes sir bye guys peace